Okay, let's talk about multiplying by five. So multiplying by five, when we learn to multiply by five, we want to understand the relationship between 10 and five. So how are 10 and five related? Well, we know that five is half of 10, isn't it? So we're going to use what we know about five being half of 10 when we multiply, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So let's say that we wanted to solve five times three. Now here's one way that we could do this. We could start by asking ourselves, what would 10 times three be? Because 10 is a pretty easy number to multiply by. So if I'm multiplying 10 times three, I'm going to get 30. And I've shown that over here. We can see 10 groups of three. So imagine that these are rows of chairs and you have 10 rows with three chairs in each row. Now, if I want to multiply five times three, all I'm doing is I'm taking away half of those rows, aren't I? Because now we only have five rows, not 10. So we divided the rows in half. We took half of them away. So what are we going to do to the product? We're going to take half of that product. So half of 30 is 15. So we know that five times three is going to be half of what 10 times three is. Let's try another one. Let's try five times six. So you could solve this by skip counting. Lots of people like to skip count when they solve a fives fact too. And how you would do that would be you'd say five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And that is one way to do this but it's always a good plan to learn strategies as well that will help you. So what we're learning today is a strategy. So we're going to start with 10 times six. We know that five is half of 10. Now 10 groups of six, that's pretty simple. That makes 60. Now five groups of six is half of this, isn't it? Imagine that we had 10 rows of six chairs. Now we only have five rows. We took away half of those rows. So our product or the answer is going to be half. So it's going to be 30. So this is a strategy for the fives fact. You can think of the related tens fact and then take half of that. So let's go through the facts. Now five times one, we're not gonna use this strategy because five times one is pretty simple. We know that that's five. Okay, let's do five times two. We could take 10 times two to make 20, and then half of that gives us 10. For five times three, we could do 10 times three to give us 30, and half of that gives us 15. Five times four, 10 times four is 40, and half of that is 20. Five times five, we could start with 10 times five to give us 50, and half of that gives us 25. For six, oh sorry, five times six I was going to write. It doesn't really matter, does it? Because the order of factors doesn't matter, but we'll keep it consistent for this video. So 10 times six would be 60, and half of that is 30. Five times seven, let's start with 10 times seven to give us 70, and figure out half of that, which is 35. For five times eight, we'll start with 10 times eight to give us 40, or sorry, to give us 80, and then half of that gives us 40. So I was one step ahead there. For five times nine, we'll start with 10 times nine to give us 90, and then half of that gives us 45. And let's end with five times 10 to give us, so 10 times 10 would be 100, or five times 10 would give us 50. Now remember, this is just one strategy for multiplying by five. So there are other ways that you could figure this out too, but this is just one more little tool to put into your multiplication toolkit. Now let's look at how this might help us as we work with really big numbers. So what if I gave you a question like this? Five times 24. Now this one might look so hard to answer, but it's not that hard when we think of it using the strategy that we talked about. Let's start with 10 times 24. 
Now, if you have already learned how to multiply bigger numbers by 10, you'll know that this is 240. And then we know that five groups of 24 is going to be half what 10 groups of 24 was. So our product will be half, which is 120. So this is how this strategy can help you out when you start working with really big numbers as well. All right, make sure you check for more multiplication strategy videos and I hope you have a great day.